this is Bonnie, and I am here with water hemlock. Secuta maculata is the Latin name. This one's got a little pollinator on it. This is the most toxic plant in North America. And the way that we identify this is we see that our leaf, so this right here is an entire leaf. The leaflets are compound, which means that there's multiple leaflets here. And there's one at the terminal, right? So one, two, three, four, the fifth leaflet is at the terminal. And you can see these red blotches at like on the stem where the leaflets come or like right here where the leaflet stem comes off the main stem, it's red or purplish. The purple is not always um, there, but it is often there. So this flower is called an umbel and there's multiple multiple flowers that are multiple plants that have flowers that are umbels but um, this one you can tell the difference because it has space in between um, the flowers so a lot of umbels are complete but this one has space in between so like the bracts if you can see the bracts off of the stem have space in between this is what it looks like right before it flowers and even a little bit more before um, the leaves are alternate on the stem meaning they're not opposite so you have a leaf here and a leaf here you can see this leaf has a lot of rot in it actually I know, I'm actually doing a video on it to tell people. Thank you. These homeschool kids know what's up. So, uh, yeah, so alternate leaf patterns off the stem. Uh, this is right near some water. It's typically the habitat that it grows in. This is the APAC family, which is also the wild carrot family. And um, the look-alike would be um, wild carrot or queen Anne's lace. Yeah, I don't think anyone remembers that. Queen Anne's lace, um, the umbels are more filled in. There is um, not purple on the stems. And the stems of queen Anne's lace have hair on them. Water hemlock will never have hair on it, on the stem. It's a round stem and if you might be able to tell there's like a white coating or a bloom on this stem. So what you're looking for, big indicators are alternating leaf patterns, this leaf pattern with the compound leaves, the purple at the notches, which is not always present, and the flowers that are have the clusters that are very spread out. Um, like I said, most toxic plant in North America. Um, kids have been known to have seizures just by touching the stalks. Uh, if you eat this, it will kill you in a very violent death of um, delirium, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, seizures, things like that. So it's a very important plant to know about, especially if you um, live in North America and you harvest any other thing that could look like it, right? So we don't harvest this, we don't eat it, we don't use this in any way, but we do um, need to know about it so that we can avoid it. Another thing to know is that the leaflet um, at the top of the stalk has about three leaflets on it instead of the big compound leaf down here that has multiple. So as you go up the stalk, there are less uh, lobes, less leaflets on the leaf coming off of the stem. So like this one is very little and has three at the top here. That one is one little lobe, one little leaflet. Okay, so right now this one is probably, I would say three feet tall, 
and could be mixed in with Queen's Anne's Lace or other things. Um, but there are some that get even taller than this. Um, so they can get very tall. And the white flowers, we just don't want the kids to pick or anybody to pick because they're very pretty, right? So the likelihood of picking them is probably high. But we don't want to pick these white flowers because we don't want to really come in contact with this plant at all. We especially don't want to crush it any, any way or even like smell it when we crush it. We don't really want to have it come in contact with us at all. Again, water hemlock, not poison hemlock. Those are two different things. This is actually um, spotted water hemlock. And it is um, the end of June. And you can see that it's coming into full flower here. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. I hope that you can see well on this video. And now you know what to avoid. Thank you.